Hey everyone, good morning. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in the beautiful town of Asheville, North Carolina in the Blue Ridge Mountains. This town is known for its art, for its nature, and for its delicious food. You can see this one's oh, extra man. juicy too. Wow. Yeah. So today we're gonna go on a food tour of Asheville. We're gonna be eating some barbecue. We're gonna eat what is one of the best fried chicken sandwiches in the United States. Mm. Oh, wow. And then there's another place that I'm really looking forward to eating at, which serves Indian style chats, different snacks. I'm hanging out with my friends Christy and Croy today, and I can't wait to share all of the food and the beauty of Asheville with you right now. Welcome to Asheville, North Carolina. We just arrived. It's beautiful here, surrounded by the Blue Mountains. The fr you could just feel the fresh air as soon as you're here. The trees, the nature, the rivers, we're surrounded by mountains. First up today, we are going to a place called Buxton Hall Barbecue. Already love the industrial feel of it, the big hall. Uh, lots of tables spread throughout the entire hall. So we're gonna see a little behind the scenes. We're gonna see the smokers, what's on the grill, what's barbecuing, what's smoking for the day. And then after that, we'll order some food. We'll watch them as they make it and their fried chicken sandwich, and then we'll eat. So this is kind of our front line where we plate all the food. Okay. This is the back line where a lot of the cheesesteaks and fried chicken come up. Maybe right. pass it to the front. I'm here with Elliot Moss. He's the owner. He's the pit master. He's going to show me around. Uh, wow. Got a bit of pork oh. oh, what is that? That's the pork midline. Um, ah, okay. We take the hog and cut it up into pieces. And this is like, you know, it's uh, oh, 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 man. Oh, it's just dripping and juicing. So we'll do just some of that chopped up. Wow. Uh, is that used in a sandwich or is it used like a chopped pork? We do a plate okay. and a sandwich. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, other part of that pig. It's all our meats are here from use. North Carolina. Uh, the chicken, the beef, all of it comes from right here, local. Right. Um, none of that commercial farm raised stuff. Very good. Very good. Cool. So we're gonna get started cooking two things first. The cheesesteak, a smoked brisket cheesesteak, and the legendary fried chicken sandwich. The chicken for you. Oh, okay. Is that, is that the oh, cheesesteak going there? Okay. in Philadelphia for a while so that's where my oh, love Oh okay that's where my love for cheesesteaks came Okay very cool That's why they call it a cheesesteak Yep But this is a smoked brisket cheesesteak right brisket, caramelized onions banana peppers and a little cheese whiz it's got some cabot extra sharp cheddar and oh, man. processed American flour Okay so the flour first Yeah then it goes into the buttermilk yeah. mixture Let's get that excess off Then it goes Right here, pat it down. Pat it down. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken sandwich. 
sandwich in the window for table 24. You can see this one's oh, extra man. juicy too. Wow. Yeah. Insanely juicy. <laughs> Over on this side of the kitchen is where they're slicing up the meats, the brisket, and that like half a side of a pig. This is the, the belly of the pig. The belly of the pig. Uh, the that's just, that oh man, that's just insanely juicy. There's literally a, a pool of meat juice and pork oil at the bottom of that. It's literally a, a puddle, a meat puddle, insanely juicy. Hanging out with my good friends, Christy and Croy. We gotta start with the chicken sandwich, the fried chicken sandwich. Yeah, yeah. One of the things that I've never seen on a chicken sandwich is this pimento cheese, which I understand is famous in Asheville. And pickles adds on the pimento cheese. The chicken isn't fried until you order it, so it's fresh. I love how it just falls out over the bun. It's buttermilk fried chicken. This does look like the greatest chicken sandwich I've ever, I'm ever about to eat. Cheers, Cheers. Croy. Chicken sandwich. Oh yeah. Wow, it's so good, yeah. <laughs> oh, the pimento cheese. Something that's really unique about it. Mm. Oh, wow. The juicy crispiness of it. And yeah, this chicken sandwich was rated as the best chicken sandwich in the United States. Um, upon sinking your teeth into it, you immediately know why. That is just a glorious chicken sandwich. I'm gonna just try one more bite with the sauce. Mm. Oh, with the sauce, it's amazing too. Let's tear into the, the cheese steak. There's so much brisket in it, they had to put a toothpick through it <laughs> to hold it together. <laughs> serious amount of brisket. Serious. Probably, we should just tear it in half. Oh, oh man. Smoked brisket, so much cheese in here. It's all stuck together. And chilies, wow. <laughs> Smoked brisket. Shout out to Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cheese is everywhere. Cheese is everywhere. <laughs> It's so sticky. Oh, but the smoking, you can taste the smokiness through the cheese. Yeah. Wow. And Elliot Moss, the, the owner here, he did mention that he spent some time in Philadelphia. So this is a respect to Philadelphia for a smoked brisket cheesesteak. That's amazing. Mmm. Troy, what do you think? Best sure. The bun is so soft too. Yeah. The bun is so soft. All. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, next up I'm gonna try the the barbecue North Carolina style barbecue plate. Shredded, chopped, and then with the vinegar-based barbecue sauce. The pork feels lean. That shreddy texture to it. And then I love the the contrast of that vinegary sourness. Mm. It's a seasoned watermelon though with like some kind of a, oh, that's amazing. The freshness, the crispness of the watermelon, the juiciness, and then you've got that kind of peppery seasoning on it. Next up, I want to try the barbecue hash. And I'm, I think I'm just going to dump it out. Is it okay if I dump it out onto this plate? With rice, with the barbecue hash. Sides. This will be easier to eat this way, yeah? Thank you. Barbecue hash, which this will be my first time to try it too. Mm. 
mustardy. I think it's mustardy. So I think it's like the trimmings of the barbecue then made into an almost stew. It's kind of sour, kind of acidic, really hearty though. It's flavorful. <laughs> this sausage, some of the pickled onions. Mm. Oh yeah. So smoky. Oh man, it's good. I love how the sausage is crumbly, smoky, and kind of crispy on the edges with that casing. Really, really tasty sausage. So good. And then another plate that we got, which is something totally unexpected. The barbecue mussels here, which they said is, are very popular. I might refill it with some of that gravy. Mm. Oh yeah. A hint of smokiness. You've got the tomatoiness of it. I love those onions in there. I think there's almost a little bit of a bacony flavor to it. And then you've got the mussels in there. Okay, I'm gonna try some of this brisket that he sliced, the fattiness. Oh man. I like how they serve it with pickles too, so that you can get that contrast of smoky saltiness to, to rich meat. Oh man, yeah. So tender, fatty, smoky. Collard greens. Moving back to the cheesesteak. That cheesesteak is just mind blowing. The next level of smoked brisket. That is the next level cheesesteak. Oh, you guys are snacking on the hush puppy. <laughs> really good. Really, really good, yeah. We just got it, the other. <laughs> For dessert, the banana cream pie, which uh, they said is one of the highlights of dessert here, so we gotta try the banana cream pie. Wow. Sweet. Banana just kind of melting. Oh yeah, really good. That was delicious. Again, the range of food, the smoked meats, the cheesesteak was incredible, and the fried chicken sandwich. From here, we're gonna walk into the center to downtown Asheville, which is just a, uh, she said it's a 10 minute walk to downtown Asheville, so we're gonna take a little, we, we need to take a little walk, and we're on our way to the next place, which is a food hall. Welcome to downtown Asheville. Such a relaxed pace, so many trees, so much nature. It's just a, an amazing town, city, but then also downtown to walk around. So welcome to the SNW Food Hall, which is right in the center of Asheville. It's a really cool food hall. There's a number of food stalls, there's a brewery here, and there's some unique history because this building, it dates back to the 1930s when it was a cafeteria. I think it's had its ups and downs, and then it like, went out of business, and then it had another business, and then it went out of business. But eventually, actually just recently, uh, they turned it into a food hall. We're gonna especially have a chicken sandwich because it's by the same owner, Elliot Moss. We might have a drink and then just walk around the food hall for a little bit. Here we go. Okay. And Elliot Moss from, from Baxton Bar Buxton Barbecue that we just went to, uh, he has a passion for chicken sandwiches. We already tried the chicken sandwich over there, um, and now the chicken sandwich here because he has a, different, a couple of different variations, including a spicy version. 
But one of the unique and interesting things is that Elliot, I think when he was a teenager, he worked for Chick-fil-A for a little bit. So he has a soft spot for chicken sandwiches. And so now he has a chicken sandwich restaurant. So we're just gonna watch them as they make some of the fresh chicken, make some of the hot chicken. Definitely gonna have a hot chicken sandwich here. Oh, is this for the for the hot That's chicken? Like spicy, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, got the tray. Chicken sandwiches, chicken nuggets, waffle fries. We've got a hot chicken sandwich and all the different barbecue sauces, which look really good too. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we got a hot chicken sandwich. We got a regular chicken sandwich. Was that be the hot? There we go. Tear. <laughs> Try it. That's all you. That's all you. No, sorry. That's all you. Oh, that was that was a <laughs> an unfair tear right there. <laughs> It's that same juicy chicken. Crispy. Oh wow. But this one has that extra dimension of that hot oil. For sure. So good. <laughs> Your fingers. I know. <laughs> it's, it's all over. It's all good. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Chili on there. It does have a smoky oh. chili flavor to it, yeah. Or like definitely. Thank you. Like Thank you. Smoked paprika. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. And. Uh, whoa. That's a significant nugget. You can feel that it's real chicken, not just, you can feel, yeah, just the meatiness of it. I'm gonna try the white barbecue sauce. Mm. Oh, that is one juicy chicken nugget. So juicy, so tender, crispy. And the waffle cup fries with the seasoning are really good too. Very much. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Cheers. Cheers, bro. Oh. Rich. Wow. <laughs> it's almost coffee tasting. Yeah. Bourbon. Oh, that's the bourbon you taste. Yeah. That's like that uh, caramely, that's caramely mean, yeah. coffee taste. Yeah. The bourbon barrel aged black watch stout. The fragrance alone is, is amazing. Though. It is amazing. <laughs> Your choice. <laughs> nice food hall, historical location. We're going to the next place, which is one of the places I was most looking forward to eating at in my time in Asheville. And it's just down the road from here. Okay, so it's just a few minutes walk over to Chaipani. This is a restaurant by Mehrwan Irani. And he, uh, I mean, he focuses on serving Indian street food here, especially chats, which are different uh, savory, sweet, tart Indian snacks. I'm very excited to eat here. This is one of the, the places I was most looking forward to coming to Asheville. And I love the decoration in this place. We got this table, this kind of very cool private table in the front here because of the natural light, but they have seats all the way going down. And then they have this amazing Chai Pani mural on some of the walls. On the menu, it is especially focused on street food and different chats, but there are also sandwiches and wraps. Yeah, just the right amount of creaminess. A hint of masala in there. And then we ordered a number of chats. We ordered some kima pav, and then we got one of the talis just to taste it, but it all looks so good. Yeah, 
an SPDP right here. So a couple of the chats have arrived. Dahi puri, which are the puris are the little fried, like chip hollow out chips. And then they're filled with usually chickpeas, some chutneys, and then yogurt. This is actually Ying's favorite. We gotta start with it. And then coriander on top. Oh man, you gotta eat these while they're fresh. Otherwise they'll get soggy. One biter? Uh-huh. Oh wow, yeah. I was oh. not expecting that. Wow. The tamarind chutney, the coriander chutney, the crunch of the puri. It's sweet, it's savory, it's tart. We got the tali with sag paneer. We got the fried okra, we got the bel puri. But these kima pav or kima pao. And kima is like a minced meat curry stuffed into the pao, the bread, topped with you can definitely see that coriander chutney, onions, maybe a squirt of yogurt, and then some pickled cabbage on the side. This looks amazing. It looks so good, Croy. <laughs> we go. gotta start with that. You drop everything and have to pick this up. Yeah. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. <laughs> All these are beauties. You can see the butteriness of that roll, yeah. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, the lamb immediately stands up. A blend of spices, but not overpowering. The bread is so crispy, and then like fluffy and airy at the same time, and then those chutneys. Mm. The bread is, is perfect. Perfect with the meat. It is perfect. Yeah. I think what I might do is add a little bit of that slaw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. A the few more. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It smells amazing. Mm. Wow. I believe, yeah, they're potato cutlets deep fried. Chickpeas on the base, a chickpea curry, seasoned with the chutneys again, covered in crispies and onions, and Indian food is some of the greatest flavors of any cuisine in the world. Mm. Oh wow, yeah. Again, those chutneys, yeah? They're very hearty, yeah. Mm -hmm. The spiced potatoes, you taste the mustard seed, deep fried with crispy edge. Oh yeah. Fried okra. I love okra. just sliced so thin and then deep fried to a crisp and yet you still feel the texture of the okra that kind of sliminess which I love seasoned perfectly salty crispy just a very light spice to it too oh that's addictive yeah with the lime it balances the saltiness mm. this one is the bel puri especially famous for puffed rice and all sorts of crispies, onions, chutneys. This is again a crispy yet wet snack. Crispy and wet. Good. It's a similar chutney flavor as the coriander in there, but just in a different textural feel and shape. Okay, so the utapams, which usually the batter is very similar to a dosa just in a different shape. And this is, uh, you can see that corn and the onions and the vegetable, the leaves are just embedded into it. Ooh. I think we should just tear it. Okay, that's what I was, <laughs> okay. I was like, how do we want to go about this? Salai. All the sponginess. <laughs> okay. I love utapam, yeah. <laughs> They're so good. Yeah, Croy is, you can tell, Croy is loving this one. I think that might be a combination of some curry leaves on top of there too, but uh, the texture of that too, the nice. bounciness of it. Yeah, nice spongy flavor and, and texture. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I gotta do another dip. Bouncing 
Mm. Troy, or should we go in with naan? Okay, we got the tali here. Here you go. We're gonna go into the go into that sag paneer. Sag paneer. <laughs> oh, you can see how creamy this is. Actually, maybe I should spoon scoop it to maximize quantity. Oh man. Mm. Oh wow, yeah. Oh, it's great. It's creamy. It's rich. Oh yeah. I love it. It is perfect with the naan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not, I mean, it's just like, like sake is not supposed to be overly spicy or overly spicious. But focusing on that fresh sag, the chunks of creamy paneer. Final dish I think we got, Croy? The vadapav, straight from the streets of Mumbai. A potato cutlet. Oh, I love that swipe of yeah. coriander chutney on top of it. The buttered roll, a chili to chase. Cheers, Cheers man. Is it chili? Mm. Nice spice to it. Yeah. It's just soothing. Creamy potato, turmeric filled, and you taste that coriander chutney. Mm -hmm. And the buttered roll. That is a super good curry. Yeah. It's like filling like, everything in my, my nasal cavity. To also enjoy the taste of it too. You would never think that potato in a roll could be so good. Ending with chai pani, that was a highlight for me. Food was incredible. I love the entire design, the street food, the India feel to it. Today has been a fantastic day, starting with the barbecue, which was, again, outstanding, and one of the great chicken sandwiches of the United States. I'll have all the restaurants that we ate at in the description box below that you can check out, and then always good to hang out with my friend Christy and Croy. Just love the artistic, nature-oriented, ambience and atmosphere of Asheville. It's a beautiful city. So that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a huge thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon and that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Asheville, North Carolina, and I will see you on the next video.